Gases in the shark's decomposing body make it float to the surface. As bacon clowns around, the shark launches a surprise attack. Bacon's just, I think, just silly. I don't think he realises he was trying to kiss it. Not smart. That karma stuff can come back and buy you. <laughs> I think I've grown and I'm looking more like my twin brother, Kerbox. <laughs> <laughs> Some special people around here. He's <laughs> got a hairy bottom. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The boys are running in. It's not a deep hitter. No, it's not a deep hitter. <laughs> keep sucking, keep sucking, keep sucking. The green whistle seems to affect everyone in such a diverse way, and Jeffro not being too big of a guy, it affected him quite quickly. Pop the locker and take me to Charlestown. Harbour <laughs> <laughs> crew prepare the doors for landing. <laughs> He might have been even flying a 747 at one stage. Since you're a captain speaking, <laughs> you would be the most gorgeous flight attendant too. I should have been a flight attendant. <laughs> Keep sucking up. Not experienced in the art of shark rescues, Maxie and Troy attempt a technique normally reserved for unconscious swimmers. We have an unconscious person. You roll the board over and flip their arm and use the board to pull their momentum to pull them back onto the board. But I don't think that'll work with a dead shark. They seem to be trying that. They got it up. Oh, I love that. They were seriously fears for sure. Green Goblin. It must be. It's got to be. No, it's not him. Perhaps this superhero can get help from a local hero. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh, you doing? Get the out of me. <laughs> you know where Green Goblin is? Nah, man. Is he down here? Yeah, he said he'll meet me here. Go and check down there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. give him luck, Raj. He gave me a little kiss, right? But uh, <laughs> I was just in my own zone then, heavily, eh? That doesn't surprise me. I've seen, you know, it's just a walk in the park down here. At least he's got his clothes on. <laughs> that country, way strong, eh? That was hey. Really? Aye, that man's here. My not even joking. I couldn't breathe out there and on. Way scary out there, eh? No worries, buddy, OK? First thing I noticed once I got him onto the board to do the return trip to shore was that he was without his boardies. <laughs> it's weird, she sort of got out of the water and she was like happy and smiling. Losing your boardies is one thing, but this guy was an extraordinary pain. It was a head scratcher until I sort of got him to shore. And his buddy goes and gets him a pair of uh, boardies and chucks them to him, and sweet, he's going to jump up in a second after he does the underwater put on, and uh, he just stays, <laughs> he just stays there. Nothing much, mate. Just my ah, not looking good, man. Just looking at the mechanism of injury, I'd have to imagine that his girlfriend or maybe ex-girlfriend now has kicked him in the nether region and really. Uh, Slowed him up. She was climbing the ladder, and the crown jewels were the first step. I'm in pain right now. Can't talk. He had a big rope as he was getting ready to go in the water, and he was still in some fancy knots with it. I said, mate, just go in and pull everything out. Troy and Maxi resort to a two man drag technique. Oh, 
heavy rips and heavy drinking. A very dangerous mix. Come here, hey, hey. what are you doing? I'm telling you to walk this way and you're not doing anything. I'm trying, you. I'm trying, I'm trying, but the other current's taking me. Yeah, I know the current's taking you. All right, but you got to listen to me, OK? I'm trying, I'm right. listening to you. Right, no, going to the left. Yeah, I'm calm, I'm telling you to go to the left. Thank you. Uh, what's right. your name? Jake. I'm Trevor. Nice to meet you. Honestly, Jake, I, you know, I'm a big guy. Oh, man. I'm an excellent swimmer. Yeah. Undercurrent's completely different. Oh, 100%. I think you saved my life. Yeah, mate, thank you. No, Jake. You saved my life. All right, buddy. Maybe you should go and have some rest, okay? You've I, had a bit I, too I, much I, to drink. I can already smell it now, okay? Some of John's pain may be dulled by the earlier trip to the pub. I'm getting ready to support his leg. But it comes with side effects. So the first few spews, they just head out onto the promenade, something for the local dogs to have for lunch. The poor guy needed to vomit. I got stunned. Do you reckon? Yeah, he's holding his ass. Ah. Do you reckon he's just paddled through a swarm of them? Louise, oh. <laughs> I just knew straight away, I'm gone. I'm gone. I look down and there are bluies wrapped all over me. <laughs> I'm surrounded by blue bottles right now. I'm in the biggest cluster. When beachgoers are stung, lifeguards oh. are full of compassion. Oh, it's on my leg. When it's one of their own, it's another story. Mate, I got hammered. <laughs> Did you know there's the biggest cluster out there? Nah, where was it? Mate, just oh, just past the shark, mate. I've got about 10 blueies on me. Dude, this guy's just stoked. Just stoked. He's fully composing something, eh? And we were a little bit confused because he was throwing his arms out. It was like Thor or something. It was like some sort of god. Oh, he's yeah. finishing up. Right. I'm calling that he's not done. I'm right. He's, he's coming back. You reckon with another shot? He had to look up here, didn't he? He's got more to offer this bloke. Oh, he's going back. Yes. <laughs> Give us more. Oh, look at him. Oh, look, he's warming up. No way. Look at no, no, him. Oh, now he's really getting into it. What? Just got you. Oh, he got a couple of cuts in your lip. Mm. You look like you might need a couple of stitches in your lip. I think I broke my nose. So I was just coming in, last wave, I'd just been out for a little train and it just smacked me straight in the side of the schnoz. Still got that beautiful um, snowy blonde hair, which is good. And he's pearly white. And so he's pearly yeah. white, still there, be, the combination. Could, could be worse, I guess. Yeah, no, he's come out all right. Yeah, yeah. Lucky he's already married. <laughs> <laughs> Grave digging isn't in the lifeguard manual. I don't know, I'm not really good with words, mate, but uh, rest in peace. He's, he's rest in peace, mate. He's had a good life, by the sounds of it. Let's just call him Frank. Frank. See you, Frank, mate. Nice knowing you. <laughs>